Hello guys and welcome to the series of web concepts and in today's video we are going to talk about the set cookie header and the cookie header. So let's begin. First of all, set cookie header is a HTTP response header which is sent by the server to the client machine to store key value pairs along with some additional data. So set cookie is used when the server want to store certain key value pairs to the client machine. While cookie header is a HTTP request header which is used to send some key value pairs from source that is from the client machine to the server. So when server want to store some information to the client machine it will use the set cookie header and when client want to send certain information to the server it will use the cookie header. Cookie is a HTTP request header while the set cookie is a HTTP response header. To understand it better let's take an example. So here I am in testphp.oneweb.com and I am going to log in into it right and here it is stating that you we can sign up here with the username test and password as test. So I will give here test as username and password also as test and I will enable the bar proxy so that when I will log in when I click on the login the request will be uh, shown in my verb suite right so I'm going to send this request to the repeater and here you will see when we make this particular request in the response set cookie is being used with some key value pair so I will forward this particular request and now if I again make any other request for example if I click on the your profile then you will see in the request the cookie header is being used right so cookie is a http request header that is sent from the client to the server so here in our request it is using the same cookie and it is sending back to the server right again i will send it to the repeater and for this one if we see what will be the response so accordingly the server is giving the response so set cookie header is used in the response when server want to store certain data to the client machine while the cookie header is used when the client wants to send certain data to the server. Now in this particular example, you will see that the server is only setting the key value pair, but it is not storing the additional values. So to see some additional value that is also known as the cookie attribute, we can go to another website that is www.blogger.com, right? My bulb suit is still on, so let me do a forward. And here we are seeing that it is making the request to the blogger.com. So I will again send it to the repeater. And if I click on the send, then you will see that in this particular case, it is setting a cookie with the key name as an ID. And this is the value. And along with that, we will see there are other values as well. These values are some instructions to the client, like how to use this particular cookie. We will discuss about these cookie attributes in detail in the next video but remember that sometimes or most of the time the server along with the key value pair it will send some additional data also to instruct the client how it how the cookie needs to be treated and also note that these values will not be sent from the request so these cookie attributes are only from server to the client but the client will not send the cookie attributes value to the server so so let me click on the forward and it is making some more request now one thing you should note here is that when the request want to send multiple cookie key pair values or multiple cookies then you will see it is cookie key name and the cookie value and after that we have the semicolon and again we have the cookie name and the value so when there are multiple values that clients want to send to the server it will be separated by the colon right so let me send this request to the repeater and now one thing to note here is that when the server wants to store multiple cookies values in the client then it will use multiple set cookie response header for example here for one value it is using one header similarly for other value it is using set cookie again then for the third it is again using set cookie and the fourth key value pair also it is using again the different set cookie response header so when the client want to send multiple data to the server it will be separated by the semicolon 
and when the server want to store multiple key value pairs as a cookie it will use the multiple set cookie headers all together now let me close my interceptor and i will go to the browser so a very simple way if you want to see all of your cookies then you can right click and click on the inspect this will pop up a lot of information but we need to go on the storage and here you will see the cookies section in the cookie section you will see the name of the cookie the value of the cookie and all the other attributes that has been stored in the client machine so this was all about the set cookie header and the cookie header and i hope you like the video if you have any doubt please comment it down thanks for watching and i hope to see you in the next video